for the buckle here. So, today I would like to talk about a little something known as poetry. I'm not really a big fan of it, but there is one book of poetry that's really, really, it, it, it got to me. Right, right where my heart area would be if I was a human being. Now, here is the book. It is called Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Now, you know it's scientifically proven stuff because, well, it's by a doctor, meaning it's official. And who doesn't like green eggs and ham? Well, actually, a lot of people probably don't like eggs or don't like ham, and especially when it is green, which I find very odd. But still, point is, this is a very great book of poetry. Classic poetry. It is a classic, in case you are wondering. And, as a special treat, I have a friend who actually does really like poetry, other than just this book. That's the only book I really like of poetry. I mean, that's the only thing that matters. It's by a doctor. Anyways, here he is. It's my good friend, Melvin. And he is going to read to you some poetry. Roar. It gets to you late, right in that area that I can't show you because I am a fortune teller made of paper. But, but, just. I, I'm, I'm like crying. Paco, Paco, Paco out. I will, until next time. But Melvin, what have you done? Oh well. <clears throat> I, I've got myself together now. Point is, Green Eggs and Ham is great, and Melvin. His poems just have a way with the words. Until next time.